We've been wanted to come here for so long because this is apparently the best safari camp here in Samburu. Welcome to Elephant Bedroom, where the elephants might just be on your doorstep. <laughs> So I know normally we start from the outside, but the outside just has a little extra flair that I want to show you and save for last. So inside, um, this is one of their normal rooms and it is very spacious, I do have to say. So we have a king size bed over here. Um, as you'll note, there's even a fan and the way that the windows doors are, instead of a tent zip, it actually locks because there are a lot of cheeky monkeys around here. Um, and it also gives a really nice breeze that comes through. We have a day bed over here, plus a working station. And then you come into the bathroom and shower there, double sink, bathroom. Oh, there is a safe there as well. Um, and you'll notice there's a couple different sets of towels. So let's go see the front. So then you come outside. You have a beautiful little seating area, but over here, each tent is actually equipped with their own plunge pool. This camp is not fenced you have to make sure you cover your plunge pool because if you leave it open, um, some type of elephants might come by and drink all your water. <laughs> so I'm really hoping we'll be able to see some elephants around camp. I'm pretty sure we will. We already saw one across the river and actually this is also all facing the river. So absolutely beautiful location. So people always ask us what is the best way to book elephant bedroom or any other luxury safari that we go on. Well, it is with our friends at Hungary Expeditions. Um, so their contact information are going to be down below. Send them a message, call them, make sure you tell them that we sent you and they'll take good care of you. Um, but until then, let's go get some lunch because I'm hungry. Me too. He was only three tents down from us. We and were, we were coming. Yeah, sorry, I'm really excited. <laughs> and then the keepers were basically like, stop. And then like, we, right we there. couldn't we're figure like, out why. And then we saw him. So they were telling us that basically like he's just collecting like some small berries on the ground that are very like high calorie. Um, so yeah. Um, I think I cool. had the biggest smile of my life. Yeah. <laughs> that photo, it better be a good photo. Yeah, that was like really close too. Now let's go for lunch. Tracy got the red snapper and I got the duck steer fry. Wow. I know, I haven't had snapper like that in a while. Good fish. Mm, it's good. I'm looking for Dev, like That's oh, us. My name is Matthew. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Dave. All right, yeah. Welcome. Time for a game drive. So we haven't done a lot of safari drives here in Semburu, no. so we're happy to be back and let's see what we can find. And I'm also happy to see gravy zebras again. Let's true. see if we can get some footage. Thank you. 
meet Tamu. Tamu sadly lost her mother when she was a kid and she came here, started to feed her. She survived and now she's part of the camp. She's like a staff. Yeah. We actually had a really good game drive. Um, we saw a cheetah with four cubs and we haven't seen cheetah cubs in a while. And then I think the highlight honestly is just coming back to Tamu. That's pretty cool. We're not sure if it's always like that, but every time we're in Samburu, it is so windy. Last time when we had our tent, we literally had sand like on top of us. Yeah, Anyways. but at least we're going to sleep just fine That's with exactly that wind. It's going to be thinking. mwah. <laughs> Can we just appreciate how big those glasses of wine are? <laughs> Cheers to that! It's so clear out. The stars are so bright tonight. First day is a success. We're gonna start again early tomorrow morning, of course, because it's a safari morning. Mm -hmm. And I think that the wind coming into the tent right now is glorious. It is, but I, like I said, I'm happy if today was the only day. <laughs> if we don't see anything else, Tracy's gonna be happy because, well, I she was like a few, that close to an <laughs> a few feet from an elephant. Obama is his name, by the way. Yeah. See you in the morning. So we are going on a morning game drive, obviously. And I don't know if you realize, Tracy, but this is our first ever morning game drive inside of Semburu National Reserve. Because the first true. time it was outside the reserve when we were at the other camp. Last yeah. time we were camping, we were sleeping, we didn't do one. Yeah. Let's see what's special about it. By the way, I slept so good. And I'm pretty sure there was an elephant, maybe a hippo, but I'm pretty sure it was an elephant right beside our uh, tent. And I was such in a deep sleep, I didn't even get up to see it. That says something. It's a little bit cloudy this morning, but we can kind of see a little bit of color already at the bottom of the clouds. So let's see if we can get some sort of sunrise. second time seeing this young kudu um, two days and apparently his mother was actually eaten by a lion decided to join this herd of impalas and he's an impala now we can't see him but way down below the surface is actually a naked mole rat and he's making his home <laughs> Oh, where, where's Tamu? She didn't start her shift yet? Tamu, where is Tamu? Didn't start her shift yet. <laughs> she worked too late last night. So overall, a good game drive. Um, there was a leopard sliding this morning um, around the, uh, the little river area, but sadly we couldn't uh, find him. But we'll try again this afternoon. And in the meantime, well... We saw their tracks everywhere. Yeah, that's true. In the yeah. meantime, we changed. because Sembru gets really hot during the day and it's about to, to get really hot. Yeah. And time to eat breakfast. I'm hungry. Breakfast buffet for breakfast. For breakfast, obviously. Uh, let's see what we have. We just met a Walmart again and I couldn't say Davis' name fast enough and I almost started crying because he was right in front of the tent.
I just had to chase out this little cheeky monkey from inside our tent, but probably my fault because I left the door open. Now let's go show you around camp a little bit. So this camp actually has 14 tents and each tent is equipped with a plunge pool, which is really needed because it's really hot right now. So I cannot wait to take a dip in ours. So coming from our tent, when you come into the main area, there's even like a little sandy area down here that you can have your meals. We actually had breakfast there this morning and they all look up over the river. Now let's go up into the main lodge. So this is kind of like an everything area. Um, you have, like you're greeted basically with reception here, but also at the evening, you can sit here and have a drink before you have your meals. And then when the camp is really full, you have your meals spread out between down below and up here. So we have a little viewing area here, some spots for some meals. We sat down there last night. And then inside is the bar with additional seating for dining and lounging. So they even have a shop behind me as well as spa services. Bellies are full and it's really hot, so there's only one thing left to do, and that is to have a little plunge in our plunge pool. Because, guys, once again, so hot. Oh, she's a little fresh, which is not a bad thing. But it's just colder than I expected. Oh, oh. oh. it's a little chilly, guys. <sighs> It's great. It's great. Sunlight dancing on me. It's a goodbye. Your smile is the only thing on my mind. Well, nice relaxing afternoon. Now back on a game drive, and let's see if we can find that famous leopard that apparently was spotted this morning. Fingers crossed, we're gonna find it. I feel I have a good feeling. We're gonna find it. Let me show you what they use here for safari vehicles at Elephant Bedroom in Simbaru. They are using a Land Cruiser, but the best kind of Land Cruiser, the open kind. So if you go this way, driver goes there, obviously on the other side, but um, full space, like you can be up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. And it's just cool because like you can, even though you can't stand up, like in those car there, Tracy, show them the car. At least you don't have any walls or anything between you and the animals, which is just the best. Now let's go for a drive. So we we're getting ready to go for a game drive and a couple comes out and says, yeah, we were distracted because there's a lion. Wasn't really sure what's going on. So for reference, that's our tent back there. And there's a lion right there. So we thought there is two, but turns out it's an entire pride of lions. So earlier when we were in the tent, I thought I heard like a baboon do the warning call or something like that, but it wasn't quite sure. I thought I was like, man, nah, no, it's probably nothing. You know, there was a pride of lions really close to us. So we are on leopard patrol going along the riverbed. There's probably a dozen trucks right now looking for that leopard. We know it's there, we don't know where. Just arrived at a beautiful sundown spot. Jambo! Thank you very much.
also the setup is very nice by the river, the sounds of the river, the fires crackling. Got the little sunset over the mountain. Sunset there. is going actually, yeah. I know. It's quite nice. They have snacks, they have wine, nothing else was missing. Wanna go get some snacks? Okay, I'll go get some snacks. That is, I'm not lying, that is some of the best beef I've had in a long time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Nice yeah, to meet you. Yeah. So another great game drive, but the highlight was definitely the Sundowner. They have a very nice spot, like by the river mm -hmm. with the fire and everything. It was very nice. And now, can we appreciate Tracy's dress? She got it on the side of the road in the army. <laughs> yeah, I actually really like it. I just don't wear it that often because we don't often change for supper, but tonight we did. Good morning, another great night. Not as windy as yesterday. We did hear a crazy noise at like 2 a.m. or something. It was actually 11. I checked my watch because yeah? I thought it was 2 a.m. Oh. <laughs> but basically I heard an elephant once and then I was like, oh, I could be like dreaming of it. And then like, I think five minutes later, it was so loud. Like it woke me up. I was sleeping and it woke me up. I was really like wondering what was going on. Yeah. But uh, yeah, anyway, great night of sleep. Beautiful little sunrise this morning, yeah. and we're going for breakfast. I'm more of a It's better when it's coming from your plate. Apologize in advance if there's any shakiness. The wind picked Just up. Just picked this up, morning. yeah. Okay. So, anyway, what to say about the elephant bedroom? Tracy, your favorite thing? Obviously, the fact that the elephants are walking right by your tent, specifically Obama. He's a big bull. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. An um, unfenced camp is always the best kind of camp because you never know what's going to happen, what you're going to see straight from your tent. My favorite part is Tamu. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Speaking of favorite parts, I did really enjoy yesterday when we found the lions literally like 150 meters from our tent. Yeah. That was cool. I think that's what caused the ruckus last night. Most likely. I'm not fully sure, but... Um, elephant bedroom also has a very, very nice spot for a sundowner where we were last night yeah. by the river with the little drinks. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of options when you come here. Um, if you just do a full board option, you can self-drive or you can even game drive for like $35 a person. Yeah. Which is really good. Um, you have option of like bush dinners, bush breakfast, private sundowns, like all those things can be added in. I know, I'm it's trying so to hold good. it to a stable, but it's not working. <laughs> Anyways, all that to say is you can customize this however you want it, yeah. basically. Two more things for me. One, the plunge pool is super cool, especially oh, here yeah. in Semburu because it is so hot, guys, during the day. Not right now because it's windy, but <laughs> it's during kind of midday, right it's very, very hot. Yeah. And second, a big shout out to Josephat, our waiter. He was super funny. Um, <laughs> and that's pretty much it. A big thank you to uh, Ongeri for sending us here. If you want to book this place or any other luxury safari, check out their information down below. <laughs> you too. Have a good day. We also met very nice people here. So like I said, Ongeri's expedition, their information are gonna be down below. This camp, any other camp, check them out. They'll sort you out. Make sure to tell them that we sent you. They'll treat you like family. And until next time, see you guys in the next one. <laughs>